Welcome back, everyone. If you haven't watched last night's video, you probably should watch that because oh, yes, last night we had, we had a rain delay, and it and it cost a, a lot. Because here's what happened yesterday. A, a, a little bit of like a race recap. Uh, what happened was th the start of the race. Jeff Gordon was was the pole center, and then. Coming out of turn number three and four on the first side, a lot of cars get loose and, uh, and almost wrecked. But, uh, thankfully, they kept the cars handling together. And then they went five consecutive green flag laps, which is the most consecutive green flag laps ever run in the Lowe's Cup Series, surprisingly en enough. So then, so then after that, we had a lot of ch changes. Regan Stanis Jr. Pro proven to be a really good, it was proven to be really, really good here. And Jimmy Johnson, Mackin, and Jeff Brown are still good because they're still up front. But besides that, the field has changed a lot of positions because they're running three wide a lot in the back of the field. But then after, just and then as soon as we just crossed the start finish line for, for lap five, it, it started to rain, and it just continued to rain as you saw on the screen. Anyway, so we want so we were not going to finish the race back back in the daytime, and is this going to be a d different? Is Jimmy John Jimmy Johnson won the most 300, and the most 300 was during the daytime. Is he going to have that advantage, or is Jeff Ryan still going to be strong? Is any other car going to try 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 to come come up and try try beat Jeff Gore the, the, the top few cars like top six six or seven, or or will it just be? Or we'll just be a clean race with more consecutive laps. We'll, we'll, we are about ready to find out here as we get the. Anyway, here's the rest of the field. The green flag. Let's get back on the green flag racing here on lap eight. Drivers, restart your engines! How about that? Anyway, green flag lap in here! Oh, and Kenny Bush is Johnson's the lead! Johnson's down to sales away from the field! Look at that! He's got an amazing lead! Here comes Trevor Bang! Where are you? He can't run! Now he's a, he's a really fast car here! All about Jimmy Johnson, lap 9! But now the pack is cut! Back on Johnson! Here we go, to the back straight away! And turn 3 and 4, here's the rest of the field! Hey, anyway, John will continue to lead! Jeff Wayne is fighting Ricky Jones Jr! Johnson will continue to lead! Oh, he's not crashed! And Jay Hodge comes to call his grip and cars are upside down and on top of every car cars. Anyway, sorry if you couldn't understand that. I count 15 cars. 15 cars are involved, and some cars are stacked on top of like AJ Allmendinger. Sam Orr Jr. was on his side. There you can see it right there. Vakazowski is involved. We got major chasers. Major implications here. Carl Edwards, Dega Patrick, Kazowski, Biffle, M Menard. Uh, Casey Kane, Kevin Harvick, Marcus Sanders, Tony Logano, uh, Sam Orris Jr., I think. I already count Bobby uh, Bonnie. Anyway, some cars did an amazing job with Dale Hart Jr. and Eric Amarola. That is, is what's going to get Dale Hart Jr. and possibly Eric Amarola to be in the chase. Yeah, if I if I left out your car name, I'm, I'm sorry. Ke Kevin Harvick, this is not good for Henry Oliver, who signed up from last night. Anyway, here's the instant replay. Carl Edwards, he just got loosed. Turn four is just a really loose corner on this configuration. Anyway, ah, Sam Orr's Jr. on his side, and there goes A.G. Allender. He got plowed by one point on Toya. Anyway, here are Albert Cameron's Dale Hunter and Eric Marola. Watch how close they came, because it was pretty close. I'm serious. Look at that. Oh, Patrick! And then, Eric Marola just barely was tired. Oh, my goodness! Anyway, back with the caution summary. What a crazy race. Welcome back after a massive crash that took out uh, that leaves us with 17 cars. So basically, it was a 15 car pileup. We are now going to get back underway here. Jimmy Johnson leads the race. He's in. And of course, he was the winner last time we were here. Can you pull off, pull off in the win? Or will Jeff Gordon? Who has been the strongest car today, and will get credit with, with an extra bonus point for leading the most laps? Win it. Or can anyone else just duke? Or or is, or is anyone else just gonna duke it out for the win? Our lemonade gauge is almost empty, and we're gonna be going into a green white checkered mode here. So let's get ready 
for the green white checker on lap 12. Here we go, green white checker, lap 12 of 13. Jeff Williams can be in table with Jimmy Johnson. Here's the area of the field. Dave Riggins stops his good, back in the way here. And white flag, here we go. Jeff Williams on the bumper. He has a fast car Jimmy Johnson, but how's he get down? Oh, Jeff Johnson! And Catherine Frank involved. All right, it was over to go. Deal Jimmy Williams' that crash. Here comes Troy Green. He comes out of nowhere. He turns around. He's Jeff Ward and Jeff Ward. And he just won that race. He has a hit. He won it. He won it all. Aaron Rowan gets his best finish of the year. Great for him. A bait. A disappointing finish. But Stanis Jr., he gets the good run that he needs. And so does Clint Boyer. These are all great runs. And Jr., he was a wreck dodger today. He he avoided three wrecks that couldn't have taken him out in contention. That's what he, he needs. He might actually be, be one of the more stronger cars for the chase. He may even win the championship. Now, here's the, here's the replay of the last lap mayhem. Or the craziest last lap, in my opinion. Jeff Gordon gets into Johnson on purpose. Johnson's not really happy. Uh, and then Matt Kenseth, they're all they're kind of just going three wide anyway. But look at Dale Hart Jr. He had very little space anyway. And then Trey Payne, he's going for it. He overdrives the corner. He gets to Jeff Gordon. He goes in the outside wall. Jeff Gordon goes into the inside wall. And Jeff Gordon just crosses the start finish line, going backwards. Another, another, another time on the last lap where, where, where there was a wreck. Anyway, Jeff Gordon just. So far, it's an amazing win. But you feel sorry for Jerkin Jeff Johnson. Anyway, congrats to Logan Jefferson, who's a cool guy in my opinion. Here's a, here's a picture of the finish. And our lemonade ball is out and needs to be refilled for next season. Anyway, say goodbye to this configuration. This configuration was not obviously hosted three very good races, but we're going to move on. Anyway, our next race is going to be back in Boston National Speedway. Bye, and let's go for Jimmy Johnson, the 500. Woohoo! Here we go, green flag, we want to check it, ah, blah, blah, blah.